about a month ago, I uploaded a video where I tried learning Roblox animation in just five days. And I think it's fair to say that these are the worst things I've ever made. But that's okay because I can just upload the video, move on with my life, and no one will want a part two, right? Yes, more. It's no. good, but you should actually should try more animation. animation. So in my last video, I opened up Roblox Studio ready to make some insane animations. But I quickly figured out that the Roblox animator is, well, it sucks. So I did 30 seconds of research on YouTube and found that everyone was recommending the same plugin called Moon Animator, which sounds pretty cool and easy to use until you realize that it costs your entire life savings to buy. There's no way I'm spending $30 on a Roblox plugin. <laughs> Oh. So when opening Moon Animator, you're given the option to spawn in a character which you will animate. But there's two different options when spawning a character, which is R6 and R15. R6 characters only have six body parts, which is why it's called R6. Guys, am I a genius? So yeah, we're gonna be using this character because R15 actually takes skill. And now that we have our first character loaded in, we can actually get to animating. Except I don't really know what to make. So there's only one thing we can do. Hey chat, I'm working on making a video about learning Roblox animation. Do you have any ideas for small projects to create? Thank you. Hey the happy, I love you. Let's start you off with a basic walk cycle challenge since you have no experience with animation. I recommend spending 5 to 10 minutes on it so that you can get used to Moon Animator. Feel free to send me the animation once you have completed it. Hey chat, how did my animation turn out? That run animation gets a strong 2 out of 10. His arms are floppier than wet noodles. The legs are moving like he's trying to moonwalk forward. Absolutely perfect for comedy gold. 10 out of 10 terrible. Well done. That felt kind of personal. On day two, I tried to make something a little bit more complex than a walking animation. But after locking in for around 30 minutes, I realized that making Roblox animations is really oh. tedious. I was able to work through it though, and I ended up making this really cool backflip animation. We're not done yet because I want to add some camera movement to make everything feel more action-packed. Then I took a screen recording of the animation and opened up Premiere Pro to add some sound effects to emphasize each small movement. So now that I understand the basics of Moon Animator, I wanted to try something involving two characters. So I went with this cool slide tackle. Nah, what it- wait, you just- wait, bro, are they kissing? Why did you make them kiss? Bro, are you stupid? Does it really look like that? I think it looks like they're kissing. On the bright side, I know how to animate two characters now, which means that we're probably ready for our first big animation. But I'm not sure exactly what to make yet, so I'm gonna go on YouTube to see if that can give me some ideas. That might look cool, but let's not forget that this is the best we can make right now. Maybe I should just quit, bro. After watching the YouTube videos, I also got some inspiration from Battlegrounds games because apparently they're supposed to have cool animations. But apparently it turns out I'm too bad at the game to even... yeah. It's okay though, because later that night something major happened that changed the entire trajectory of this challenge. The wait is over. Bubblegum Simulator Infinity is out. So I ended up grinding this game all night until I reached first place on the leaderboards and the game had over 150,000 people playing it. But I also kind of lost 100,000 Robux playing it and I stopped making progress with animations. Man, you really need to get better at staying on task. He's right. You really suck at being productive. It's been like two months since your last- the next morning, it finally hit me just how far behind we were. I have to make a lot of progress today because tomorrow I leave for spring break. So I sat down, cracked my knuckles, and planned out a 20 second fight scene. So here's what I have in mind. The two characters involved in the fight are gonna be me and this ninja bacon hair guy. I don't really know what he's supposed to be. I just threw random clothes and accessories together from the toolbox. Anyways, the fight is gonna start in this open field where the player is trying to steal a giant golden key. This key is special because it actually has the ability to activate when Windows. But when he tries to steal the key, I'm gonna stop him and we get into an intense fight because I refuse to ever activate Windows until we hit 100,000 subscribers. Anyways, here's the final battle that we were able to make after our first week of learning Roblox animation. to activate windows is in my reach.
Womp womp. Man, that was the easiest fight of my life. You suck. So that about wraps up the first week of animations that I created. And by first week, I mean last week. At least I thought. You see, to be completely honest, I was done with Roblox animation. While the projects were fun to create, I have other projects that I've been pouring so much time into behind the scenes. So I uploaded a video covering the first week, and now we can quit animation. Yes, more. It's good, but you should you actually should try more animation. animation. So with my first video going viral, I know that this next week is going to need to be really impressive because I set the standard so high on the first week. But if we really want to make serious progress with Roblox animation, we're going to need some help from somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's good? This is Zoters, a professional Roblox animator who's been working for about three years. And he's going to be reviewing some of my best animations from the previous video. I like how you plan your animations out, like you do your steps. This is actually advanced for your day two. From the looks of it, you might become a good animator. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What I notice is that I see that you're already like watching references. It's, yeah, it's good for three days. I'm not gonna lie. So do you want like overall feedback on everything or just the characters? Oh, we're cooked. What I see right now, the walk animation, th that could use some work. Usually animating R6, there's like a rule with detachment. You made the head detach. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice that. Oh yeah. So after that very insightful call with our personal coach, I took some advice from your comments as well. One guy recommended that I watch a video going over the 12 principles of animation, so I went ahead and watched that. Then I had the fun idea of making a simple movement where the player jumps up and punches the ground so hard that the world explodes. Okay, not actually, but it'll be cool. When making this animation, I really wanted to focus on making impacts look more powerful, so I followed a quick YouTube tutorial and created this cool effect that happens when the character makes contact with the ground. Then I followed another YouTube tutorial that showed me how to add a little bit of camera shake just to add a little extra detail to the impact. And finally, I added in some parts that come flying out of the ground to make it look like the character punched so hard that the ground literally split into pieces. Once the animation was finished, I took a screen recording of the movement and put it into Premiere Pro to add some sound effects. And here's how the final punch animation looks. After finishing that punch animation, I tried remaking the backflip animation that we did on day two, and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just a lucky attempt. And while this one took a lot longer because I was trying to make it smoother, I was really happy with how it turned out. I really felt like I was getting better at making the animations look smooth and real, but I knew there was still more that I had to learn, so I got back on a call with Zoters. I see that your posing is really like uh, still. You see how the torso has like no rotation. So you could probably just do something like this. And then the, the vision is cool. Pose, the posing is really weird here too. The leg looks like it's like it, it broke or something. Don't be afraid if you don't get this all like right now. You're starting off. I've been doing a lot of those X's. He punched so hard that his whole body just fractured. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like animation is basically making it look like it's real life. See how like it looks really bad dislocated? So it's all based on the positioning. Yeah, tricks to the camera basically. And you could also think of R6 like, um, like it's this. You want landing tips too? Oh yes, I would love landing tips. I've been trying to mess with that so much. So let's Let's say he does a flip his leg that's closer to the ground is gonna land first and then his other leg is gonna capture the, the dual balance basically i feel like i did everything backwards <laughs> that's still fine you're starting off you're getting familiar it's it's good i like when i first started i didn't know shit. okay time to get back to work on day four i wasn't really sure what to make so i made a post in my discord server asking for some of your animation ideas i have no clue why seven people reacted with a pineapple anyways while we wait for more responses to come in there's something i need to come clean about you see i actually have a secret reason as to why i even started learning roblox animation the real story begins in the middle of march earlier this year, and I came across this video by a large Roblox creator named Laughability. When I decided to watch his video, I was so impressed by the quality of the animation. So obviously I wanted to figure out how he was able to make it, and I sent him a message asking who animated for him. I got no response. Wait, so you started this whole thing simply because you got egoed by a YouTuber with 20 times more subs than you? Bro, why are you so mean to me? And that wouldn't even be the case if everyone watching subscribed. 5% has to be a record, bro. So ultimately, 
Recently, I've been learning Roblox animation so that I can improve the quality of my videos. I started off with a little jump animation where I'm talking to the camera. Yeah, that was the animation. For my next animation, I wanted to start off the video with a cool movement where I dropped from the sky and did some sort of superhero landing on the floor to really catch the viewer's attention. So yeah, if you go back to the start of this video, you should see this animation play. All right, I think it's finally time that we go through your replies to my post that I made earlier. If you want to be featured in future videos, be sure to join the Discord server links below. All right. Oh my gosh. There's so many responses. Orange Justice. Blowing bubbles, it pops, and the whole world explodes. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that one. <laughs> that Doctor Strange move that pushes the spirit out of the body. Wait, that's a cool one, actually. Someone's head getting blown off by a rocket launcher, epic scene. Someone getting thrown out a window and lands inside a bin and turns into a bin monster. <laughs> Eat a hot dog and die. Make an animation. I think that might be the most helpful one yet. The happy activating windows. Do we ban him? Wait, how do I ban? Honorable mentions. Orange juice. Sneeze. <laughs> Drop kick. End of honorable mentions. After making a bunch of smaller projects, I felt pretty good about my ability to make smooth animations. But something that I really want to master is mixing in visual effects with the animations because it'll make everything look way better. So today, I thought I would try to make a spinjitsu animation. If you don't know what that is, uh, just look up Ninjago. I went with this idea because I already have the visual effect from my video where I tried learning Roblox VFX. You should watch that video, by the way. There's one small issue though, because I have no clue how to make the effect appear and disappear during the animations. So I went to YouTube, and it turned out that adding effects is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is select the particle emitter and add the property called enabled. Then in Moon Animator, you can easily enable and disable the particle whenever you want. And with that fixed, I successfully learned how to add visual effects into my animations. So at this point, I was starting to feel like I was actually getting kind of good at this. Like good enough that maybe, just maybe, someone out there would actually pay me for an animation. So I started scrolling through a bunch of Discord servers in search of a job. This guy found me through my last video, so let's see what he's looking for. <laughs> Big surprise, a cash grab game. Alright, looks like he wants these three animations. None of them seem really that difficult, so maybe we could go with like 800. Let's go, we got it for sale. He said he's gonna pay right now as well, which is amazing. Yo, no way, it actually went through. Easy scam, easy scam. All right, guys, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually scam. And this isn't even actually a real job. I do have to make these three animations though for my dream game that I've been working on for the past six months. I'm hoping they don't take too long, but we'll figure it out. Also, if you wanna learn more about the game, I'll have a secret Discord server link down below. Oh wait, this might be harder than I thought. You see, these animations are gonna be made with an R15 character instead of the R6 that I've been using. But honestly, this kind of seems easier because I know exactly how to pose the character. And the next two animations were also going really well until I played back the throwing animation. This, this looks terrible. But with the power of editing, it's instantly fixed. I wish I could do that in real life. So now it's time for our final project. I thought about doing another fight scene to compare it to week one, but I wanted to try something new. After our calls with Zoters, I looked at his channel and noticed that he's gained over 50,000 subscribers in just a couple of months through his insane YouTube shorts. I then realized that a bunch of other animators are growing the same way, so I thought it would be fun to try and make my own YouTube short as our final product. So here's the plan. This is Timmy. Timmy wants to be a pro fighter, but he kind of sucks right now. Our YouTube short is going to show three different stages in his progression of going from a super weak fighter to a pro who can destroy anything in his path. After making the three stages, I had to make sure to edit the videos so that it's as cringy as possible, just like all of the other brain rot YouTube shorts. <laughs> and with the video finished, the only thing left to do was get some feedback from friends. Wait, what were you gonna say? So before you get off, can I show you my final project for my animation? Yeah, sure. This better be good, bro. Alright, what is this? Yeah, what was that, bro? Never call me again. I think he liked it. 